Listen, I'm as tired of making these James Charles videos as you are of watching him, but it absolutely blows my mind that nobody else in the commentary community is talking about how these dudes are trying to get clout by accusing James Charles. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at the YouTube community, some of the drama that's going on and things like that, and try to take this mess and turn it into a message. And something that I cannot stress to you enough that I am so, so, so against is cancel culture and mob mentality as well as people faking being a victim. But anyways, if you're into any of that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So this kid, this kid Elmo Films, he just made a video about my experience with James Charles, right? And YouTube, the YouTube algorithm is just doing its job right now. The YouTube algorithm was like, hey Chris, you watched a video by that one clickbait king yesterday accusing James Charles, maybe you wanna see a video from his friend, the clickbait prince, about him accusing James Charles. And that is how the video from Elmo Films got recommended to me. I had no idea who this kid was, um, but yeah, I looked at it, I started looking through his videos as I was listening to this videos, the beauty of having two monitors. And I see that he's friends with that dude Carmi. I'm like, okay, let's see where this goes, all right? So TLDR of his video was James Charles sent him a DM one time saying that he's attractive. That's it, that's it, tea's over, it's been spilled everywhere. James Charles said he was attractive. Like, this is absolutely mind blowing. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is this dude, Elmo Films, something that he tries to do to make the story a little bit juicier, to get more clout, and mess with this man's life, James Charles, is say that at the time of this DM, he was 17 and James Charles was 18. Like, oh my God, stop the presses. You guys, can I tell you guys a little secret? I'm 33 years old, all right? But I was actually the youngest person in my senior class, okay? Because my birthday's in the summer. Actually coming up next month, June 23rd. Don't forget it. But anyways, I was 17. The other seniors in my class were 18. An 18 year old hitting on a 17 year old is not crazy, nor is it illegal, all right? But like I said, he touched on that topic, not once, but twice in that video to try to add another layer to the narrative that's going on about James Charles to try to make it seem like James Charles goes after young people too, which is absolutely disgusting. Like, listen, listen, James Charles screwed up. James Charles messed up. James Charles needs to improve his life and become a better person. He needs to learn from these mistakes. But like, it is our responsibility, especially as commentary channels, to call out people who are trying to increase this story with false narratives, all right? And the other issue is this guy's video, just like Carmi's video, it has over 400,000 views, okay? But anyways, the story goes that James Charles messaged him, said he was attractive, didn't even look like this kid messaged him back, but then, but then when they go to VidCon, James Charles was there, and it made him feel uncomfortable. Like, okay, grow the hell up. Like, I'm just gonna let all of you out there know, especially if you're around this kid's age, which is like 18, 19 years old, like, you're going to be stuck in rooms with people who are attracted to you and you're not attracted to them. There is nothing illegal about that, all right? Like, let me make that very clear. If you've never had somebody have a crush on you and you've had to be in the same room as them, you're very, very lucky, okay? But there is absolutely no law against being in an uncomfortable situation because somebody's attracted to you, okay? Like, it is absolutely ridiculous. All right, here, here, let's do this. Play this scenario out for me. This is a completely fictional scenario that would never happen in a million years, but let's pretend that it's gonna happen, okay? Or that it, it, it did happen, okay? We call this a hypothetical situation. So let's say, <laughs> the first person who comes to my mind because I just made a video about it. Let's say Tana Mojo. Let's say Tana Mojo, with her millions of followers, she sends me a DM on Instagram. She's like, yo, you're attractive, right? And then 
I end up at VidCon, never replying to her or anything like that, and then I'm in the same room as her. Like, is it my, like, should I make a video about that? No, okay? But for Elmo Films and anybody else out there who James Charles thinks is attractive, here's how you play that scenario out. Here's what I would say to Tana Mojo. Hey Tana, that's pretty flattering, but unfortunately I have the most beautiful, amazing girlfriend in the world, so thanks, but no thanks. It's not that crazy to do that, okay? Like, it's not that hard, but like, this is, this is why all of us, as a community, as a society, need to take a step back and look at what's happening with mob mentality. Because you have jackholes like Elmo Films and Carmi, Touch Delight or whatever, who see this as an opportunity and they're like, oh, 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 I had, I had one interaction. I had one interaction with him. Maybe I can get some views off this. Maybe I can, uh, uh, maybe I can say this, right? And he like goes on this thing about how uncomfortable it made him. Like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, he tries to play into this narrative about how like uh, a gay man with more followers shouldn't like message somebody else. Like, he's like, why did he even message me? What? Like, I watch a ton of small YouTubers. I do. I, like, that's just what I do. I come across all sorts of stuff, you know? Like, the YouTube algorithm recommends videos that I might like. And this happened on Instagram. The Instagram algorithm might recommend other people that you're interested in. There are a million scenarios in this situation. And, like, for, for straight men to be coming out with this whole thing, like, listen, this is an important conversation to be had, but, like, don't blow it up into this crazy thing. Like, it... It's really fascinating to me looking at this situation because, and I'm trying to stay like as level-headed and objective as possible, but this is something that obviously, you know, women have been speaking up about for years, right? Especially since the Me Too movement. Now you have straight men coming out and talking about this, right? And like, I, I'm just letting you know from my outside point of view, not knowing James Charles, not knowing Gage, not knowing Seattle Waiter Kid, not knowing any of these people, like I'm looking at the two, the two legitimate accusations and it honestly just seems like some kids who had some messy hookups. That's all it seems like to me, all right? Like I was just talking with some friends about James Charles quote unquote pressuring. And this is something that Tati Westbrook said. And if this, unless there's some more information that we don't know, but like Tati Westbrook said that like James Charles is trying to trick people into being gay, right? Like, do you know how many people, do you know how many people are in the closet, right? Do you know how many people like are on the down low and they're hooking up with men, but maybe they're married and things like that? Like, do you know how often this happens? And I don't think it's, it's fair or right for us as straight men or straight women to comment on this situation. And I wish more people in the LGBT community were talking about this because it's not as black and white as you think, right? Like I grew up, I grew up, my mom's best friends were gay men. I grew up around that, right? Um, I've had many friends over my 33 years on this planet who have been gay, who have been lesbian, right? And there are many people who are in the closet and like, can you blame them? Like, something that is a very real thing is, you know, religious people and their family or church trying to send them to, like, gay conversion camps, you know? So, when I see, when I see James Charles talking to that waiter kid and saying, like, no, nah, man, I think you're gay, right? I don't see that as tricking or manipulative, right? Like, James Charles might have missed the mark. James Charles might be a thousand percent wrong, but... Is it that crazy? Is it that crazy to, to comment and like, you know, for one gay man to tell another gay man, like, listen, I think you're gay. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just don't, I just don't get it. And like I said, I, like, I'm speaking up about this as a straight dude. And I wish more people in the LGBT community were talking about this. Like, there was a comment that uh, my girlfriend showed me from, um, I guess, Unnatural Vegan was talking about this, and there was a, a guy, I'll put up the screenshot right here, and he talked about how this is a problem in the LGBT community, uh, right? And he was talking about how he wants to make some videos and call out the community on that, like, do it, man. You know a lot more than I do. You know what I mean? But, like, do, 
Like I, here's my opinion. I'll end with this. Here's my opinion. Do I think a gay man should only go after straight men? No. But do I think that like it's okay for a gay man to hit on a straight man? Absolutely. Like we would all be willfully ignorant to think that no quote unquote straight men ever fool around with a gay man. Like that would just be insane. But anyways, like if anybody from the commentary community or drama community has t like seen one of these videos, please call out people like Elmo Films and Touch the Light for trying to um, um, cash in on this situation and get clouded because it's absolutely disgusting. Like James Charles deserves the licks that he is getting right now, but there's a point where it's going way, way, way too far. Okay, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And the next video I'm gonna make is going to be a rehab story time. I was gonna make it now, but Anyway, subscribe, subscribe, okay? And huge thanks to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, get access to our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, like getting up on the credits right here, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.